Welcome to the Boathouse, everybody. Our Boathouse has had a really sort of breathtaking year in coming together. And we're a little bit unique in the country in that we have a lightweight women's team, an openweight women's team, and a men's team that not only are pretty successful, but we really root for each other and we want each other to be successful and we build off of each other's successes. And so we were all on the road in different parts of the country. The lightweights were in Boston. The open weights were in Sacramento and the men were in San Francisco Bay Area. And we were all texting each other. How's it going? How's it, you know, how you doing? And of course there's the Twitter thing that I don't do. But <laughs> other people do it and they tell me what's going on, so that's good. But um, I think that's really helped us. And um, on the open weight side, um, this team is, is, they're tough, they're strong, they're happy, and they're resilient and they're relentless in getting what they know they deserve. There's a vague suspicion that what do those people do at the boathouse? What kind of job is that? You drive around in the boat and occasionally you yell things at people and then you go home. And when you see this, you know we don't have real jobs. <laughs> this, I mean, you got people swimming off the pier. This is, this is great, but it's not normally like this. I just want to point that out. On a normal day, like, just come down and you'll see what kind of suffering we go through. I, I, I can tell I haven't convinced you at all. The weekend was great for all three of our teams. And uh, uh, Stanford was especially good. The, you can only usually improve one step at a time. And uh, no matter what you do, cajoling, yelling, for, for our proverbial slap downs, I mean, just theoretical. They don't always work. You keep trying, then eventually they get it, but at their own pace. And we took a big step forward this weekend. And where we've been, it's not difficult to be better than that. So, uh, but we're much deeper. And whether we can take the next step this year, I do not know. And, uh, but it's good. It's nice to be on the upswing. You've heard my analogy, I'm sure you have, but I'll repeat it because that's why you're here, to listen to me. The, uh, uh, jumping into the pool, everybody's done it. You're bored, it takes five minutes in a pool to get bored when you're a little kid. If there's not a sibling to, you know, to pretend, pretend drown like we always used to do, keep their head under for a while. If you don't have that, then you, you let your, uh, the air out, everybody does it, and you float to the bottom with your eyes shut. And you know there is a bottom, it's definitely there, but as you go further and you start to suck for air, you start to wonder, is there really a bottom? And then eventually you touch it and you go back. Whew, thank God. You knew it was there, but you're still scared. And that's pretty much, uh, we've already hit bottom and uh, we're coming back up for air. Rowing at Devil's Lake again. Yeah. You know, what's the conditions perfect, hopefully? Hopefully, it looks like it's going to be a south wind again, so we're hoping that the forecast is wrong as it has a tendency to be. Um, but it's supposed to be nice and warm and beautiful, and there should be a big crowd out there. And it's just such a beautiful race course, uh, and it can handle a lot of wind. So we're looking forward to a great showing. And this is sort of a dress rehearsal. We're trying to get the Big Tens, Big Ten championships up there in the next couple of years. So you know, we're, we're pulling out most of the stops um, to, to show that we can host uh, a national caliber regatta there. And so it's going to be it's sh it's going to be great. The department has just been awesome um, in supporting it and helping us really get it going and, and giving us the help that we need to make it, make it a great day. The scenery is nice, the support system is nice, but it's all about the water. And so if you can get protection from at least three directions, um, that, that means a lot. And so the, the walls, the cliffs are what, what uh, offer that. And it is a pretty small lake. It's just over 2,000 meters, so it's perfect. That makes it a little bit more protected. It also makes it an awesome place to watch from. When, it, when it's at its best, I don't think there's a better place to watch rowing in the country.